could make it to in any bamba say he like going on the internet and finding a Kenyan in an international video comment section and asema kumba vuzangu kumba mko huku showing how Kenyans are actually going through the same things in the light of boyfriends they could Peter na wasichana wenu kusema labda mpostiwe na DCI lazima tu ni seme composure lads vumbi vumbi ni constant na kama unalia wazazi wako ama hawako with that fire i'll be your host darkest we are and of course mimi kijana baridi shadidi jamaa wa mariamu na rashidi ni mimi b a b a z o ra yani baba zora aka baba z baba jenzi and in the same breath ya international boyfriends day kupita na kuacho ipite kama ule mtu wa uh, tropical biscuits na njugu mm. tropical unajifanya umuoni kabisa anaenda na anaenda akiendaga na biashara yake ninasema ni vizuri tumejua madem at least wana protect my boyfriend wao eh, kwa kurogo unajua hata ukipost mkono yeah. si jenzi anaweza hiyo yeah. mkono ni ana nini ana nini sija kaibiwa eh, so yeah. mmefanya kazi nzuri kwa kutuficha asanteni yeah sana. because sharing is caring like yeah. natutaki kujua hiyo Okay. Yeah, sengine ni ngumu. Oh. Ni ngumu. He, wadau, mimi sijui ni seme aje, lakini kama kawaida watu uko na guest uh, kwa set yetu, mm-hmm. but napendaga mkiinteract na content yetu, mki like, mki share, mki comment, mki subscribe. Kama leo tunataka tujue tuko na nani, anafanya nini na ana represent uh, department gani. Hi. Hi. Unakapoa by the way. Asante sana. Unajua tumeulizwa ni nani anaolewa? <coughs> Yeah. Ya nini? Tunakani Ria... kama tuko Oh oh yeah, vitenge. Eh, yeah. Ilibidi yeah. ilibidi tumejipanga. So. Unajua kama kuna mtu huwa anatushainia swahili pot na yeah. fashion yeye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. So, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Tunakuaga fashion killer. Okay. Ah, umejua leo? Like that za <laughs> endo na nasikia leo. Ah, okay. Nasikia leo. Imebidi okay. to match the aesthetics leo. Mm. Eh, umetupea pressure hiyo design. I see mko sawa. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. vitenge yeah. African look is very good. Thank I would you. like to know who you are and yeah. what you do at Swahili Port and why. Yeah. Kwa nini? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Doka Sakono Mobaya by the way. <laughs> I think she's really been waiting for a very long time. Mimi <laughs> kukuja hapa. Yeah, tumekuhunt sana, tumekuhunt. Naona, naona. Yeah. Yeah. Karibu. Yeah, and yeah. I see Doka is very prepared with I think a whole load yeah. of questions. Unaona kitabu hiki kufanywa hivi. Unajua ni mamba interviews oh, kungapi wewe? Ni mamba interview wiki tatu. Yeah. Back to back nambiwa no. Yeah. No. Okay. Leo ni leo. Leo ni leo. Ah, yeah. Alright. So here I am today. So tuko na nani? As, tuko na nani kwa set? Many questions. So yeah. my name is Jackie. Mm-hmm. Uh Chepko H. Okay. Plagat. Okay. Uh, nafanya kazi hapa Swahili Port mm-hmm. as the executive associate. Okay. I also support uh, programs. So pia na na niko I'm the GOYN coordinator. So we have the initiative GOYN. Mm-hmm. So I coordinate um all aspects of it okay. mm-hmm. and also support the case management project which is the um, the mentorship one mm-hmm. and i also sit at the mombasa tourism council okay. which is uh the council that then brings in all the tourism stakeholders together mm. to see how best we can ensure that tourism in mombasa gets to where it was before oh, so wow. i represent the young people at the board big big shoes eh who you job description and just a one page <laughs> 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 ukenda, yeah ukenda interview na yeye unarudi shule bana sisi kitu tuko nayo ni intro kali kali man tuko tu na intro so i think nikiongeza hii sasa tena itaongeza pressure but i i went to alliance Oh. Hi we. Yeah, so so <laughs> hey, 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 by the way, I remember the uh, but drama. <laughs> <laughs> drama comedian. But yeah. sawa. Okay, so you went to Alliance. Yes, I did. That explains it. <laughs> executive nini nini. Uh, uh. Uh, so uko kwa executive wewe ndo kama like after bossy do you is it like uh, the immediate person uh, uh, not necessarily mm-hmm. uh, because we have uh, the chief operations officer okay but what i do mm-hmm. i support um, the executive director okay. in some of his tasks so one of it is mm-hmm. that i do every day is is do his scheduling so a uh, kitu kama timetable right okay. ajue maybe from 9am or mm-hmm. from 8 anafa mm-hmm. kukuwa mahali fulani uh-huh. kuna meeting anafa ku attend anafa kukuwa um, na vijana mahali okay, so okay. i populate that yeah. um, most times mm-hmm. yearly so that i keep adding as we move so 
that is what that is the major task that I do. But beyond that mm -hmm. is also supporting the young people. So you will see, for example, Kama Niko Hub and you have guests that come in yeah. na pengine um mentor hapatikani, mm -hmm. then I I step in to listen to what they would want okay. and then transfer that to mentor to be able for him to be able to understand exactly wale wageni walikuja ama wale vijana walikuja mm -hmm. what did they want. Ah. So but then also support the programs. So majorly um GYN initiative, all the pathways, mm -hmm. sit with the leads, support what are some of the challenges, what are some of the learnings we are getting, yeah. how can we continue, continuously improve the lives of the young people through the economic opportunities that we get from mm. the initiative itself. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, so Heliport is an NGO, Sindio? Correct. Yeah. So, what's the one thing Tangu wants to do with NGO? You've actually learned the general public does not understand about NGOs. Um, so, just a brief history. I have done, my background is in IT. Mm -hmm. I did computer science. Okay. So, the shift from normal um, networks, coding sometimes, mm. to fully engaging into social impact yeah. mm. was a big move for me. Mm. But what really drove me is um, my passion for mentorship mm -hmm. and my passion for leadership. Mm. Okay. Because I had read a lot about leadership. And I wanted a space where I'm able to actually practice what I have learned, mm -hmm. right? If mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so when the opportunity came mm -hmm. to actually come to Swahili Potab Foundation, mm -hmm. it, was, it was an amazing opportunity for me. Okay. I, I said immediately I would want to, to be part of the team. But one of the things that I learned is there is a lot of work that goes into supporting the young people mm -hmm. in the NGO. Yeah. So, Mtumanya Yukonje would think uh, there's a lot of hype, there are a lot of activities. Yeah, you know, Monday to Friday perhaps to go amphitheater, yeah. people are dancing. Mm -hmm. But if you sit behind and check mm -hmm. what really happens in yeah. a day-to-day -day schedule to support the young people, mm -hmm. there's a lot of work. There's a lot of strategic thinking that goes behind that process. So that is what really stood out for me. Okay. And I remember <coughs> Mwanzo Mwanzo, when there's a lot of work, I would get home and I'm very exhausted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But deep down, I'm very satisfied because of what we are doing for the young people of Mombasa. Amazing. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so uh, maybe, Kama, you, you said you, you've done programs supporting the youth. So, Kama Kuna Milestone Yote, can you maybe tell us about it in terms of the opportunities Kama Kuna Milestone may achieve? And how, what does the future look like? Uh, kuna projects maybe zingine ziko underway. Uh, talk, talk about these things, Kidogo. Yeah, so, so let me talk about first my personal milestone. Okay. okay. Because project management was sort of like a very, not really new, but new in terms mm -hmm. of trying to manage uh, projects themselves. Okay. Okay. And so for me, I have, and I always have this mantra that you have to keep learning every, every day. Yeah. Learn something new mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And so I have really pushed myself, tried to ac actually understand what does project management entail, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So that you sit and you're able to <coughs> know when a challenge comes or crops up, mm -hmm. how am I supposed to handle it? When, th when there are issues in a project, how am I supposed to, so, uh, to support the people um, supporting that project yeah. mm -hmm. and even the young people themselves? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Um, Definitely, we have more projects coming our way. Okay. Um, Swahili Potav Foundation has been <coughs> able to impact so many young people. Mm -hmm. You have people who've walked in to the space, and they started by just using the internet, Mwanzo. Yeah. Because we, ha we offer free internet, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have people who came in, and their goal was to, I need some safe and trusted space. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when they got here... Waka realize there are more activities, there are more programs. So slowly yeah. by slowly, mm -hmm. Wakanza Kuji, Usishana, those programs. Mm -hmm. And we are, I think we, we can all tell the impact that yeah. has brought in some of those people that we've seen. So for us is to really support and continuously support the young people through the programs that we have. One of it that um, started Juzi is the um, case management, the mm -hmm. mentorship project. And we are beginning to see the fruits of that. Mm -hmm. We've had um, 1781 mentees who've gone through in the first cohort. Mm -hmm. We are just about to start the second cohort. And our prayer and our hope is that we continuously get to support these young people and impact them. Of course, sometimes the impact is quite instant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like out of in, like after a session. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes two years, three years, mm -hmm. five years. But for me, the joy is 
that you meet someone five, ten years and they tell you, by the way, Dokas, nilikuwa na wewe swahili pot. And you took, uh, you took me through um, a certain concept mm-hmm. that has helped me kufika kwenye niko. I think for me that's very key because then yeah. you'll have left a very long-lasting impact in that person's life. Okay. And for me, my mantra has been yeah. whenever I go, whatever space, whoever I meet, I try my best to impact that person. I'll neza kutana na mtu for one minute, but even smiling to them, right? You've really changed a lot. Someone, people go through a lot, and sometimes mm. the smile really gets to support them and to ensure that they're able to speak up. Yeah, speaking of oh, people sorry. going through a lot, mm-hmm. the other day um, I was going through social media, mm. and there's this um, influencer, and they told Debirono. So Debirono, ni wako kwenu, by the way, ni wako kwenu. Yeah, ni metumia relevant example. Yeah. So um, Reno was saying, Ata nini ifanyike, ya? Yeah? Whether you're happy, whether you're sad, whether you're angry. As long as unaju lipitia vitu, you know, our childhood was not for the plot. Yeah. We definitely went through things and those things went through us yeah. and they made us who we are, yeah? Mm-hmm. You should stay in therapy, mm-hmm. yeah? Kwanza ukianta kuona vitu zimeenda nyue, yeah? That's the time to actually mm-hmm. stay in therapy. Mm-hmm. And it brings me to this question, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, as much as muneza kwa mumefanya the youth vitu kubwa, kuna watu wenye wana benchmark na nyinyi, na there are people who will want to start an NGO maybe that will be supporting the youth. Because Pia, we must identify that in Kenya we have other NGOs and to foundations to meanza whether kubwa amandogo zina support the youth. But how have you actually changed the narrative NGO to NGO, unona, like head mm. to head? How have you actually changed the narrative? Ju, sometimes unapatanga, munafanya kazi the same. By the way. Mm. Mm. Manze. Mm. Mm. Um, good question. Very good question. Mm. Mm. Um, I think one, for NGOs, um, what needs to stand out is what values and what principles we need to have the young people have and hold dear. Mm. For me, that stands out. Mm. What are these principles? Based on the timings, right? Masiku mm. zime, like times have changed. Mm. This is a whole new generation. They have different needs that mm. they require, right? Right from Sisi to Kizaliwa. As Dokas, you've put it, there are things that our parents did not do that we are doing, yeah. right? And yeah. that is really changing a lot of things as we speak. Mm-hmm. So I think one of the key things that we do is really bring on board other stakeholders. Mm-hmm. And for us, our key, and, and one of our key strategies is we believe we can't work alone as Swahili pot. And what we do is we bring on board other members, other organizations, and we sit together. And one, one of the things we do, again, is collaborate. When it comes to some of these trainings that we do, we don't sit alone as Swahili pot and, and say, Sasa wacha tukae, tutengeneze sisipiketu. Mm-hmm. We do a co-creation. We sit figure out what are the needs of these young people mm. and how can we support them come on board. Mm. As you say, there are so many um, organizations that come in to support the young people, but what makes, for example, what makes Swahili Port stand out? You know, that could be a question that mm. we ask ourselves, mm-hmm. right? You have several, a lot of them that would want to support the young people. But for me, what stands out is our space. You have someone just walk in and akutana na wedokas, wewe babazora, kidogo, you know, after one week, we are all friends. Kidogo, they begin to share what they are going through. Mm. And Kidogo, you're able to even link them up to referral systems where they can get more support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, and it's open because um, mentorship is important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the mentor has to be very willing, but the mentee is the one that has a lot of work. Right? Yeah. Because ni menti lazima ashindame. Yeah. Ame photo your mentor. So the mentality <coughs> should never be if if Babazora am your mentor, mm-hmm. ni mimi I will always be reaching out. Yeah. You have to also sh- show the zeal as the mentee yes. to reach to reach out to me and bother me by mm-hmm. the way and like hey by the Jackie, yeah. there are things I need to understand. Yeah. Say, Lewi, yeah. please mm-hmm. show me. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that zeal is what really um 
propels you kwenda mbele. Eh hey, amazing wewe sababu vitu vitu. Na hii exact team iko na akili kubwa kubwa. Hey, wow. Umesikia communication, communication yeah, integrity, alliance, empathy. Mimi mtotoanzia hapo ya yeah, big words. Yeah. Umeelewa kweli? Nimeelewa nime <laughs> rada by the actually <laughs> you, 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 you put it so well. I yeah. think hata kwa hiyo point ya leadership uh, the question that Doki alikuwa amekuuliza. Mm. I think hiyo ndio kitu ina lack uh, kwa leadership empathy to the ability to put yeah. yourself in someone else's shoes cuz yeah. ukiangalia where the country is headed right yeah. now yeah. and why we used to be and is akina kibaki mm-hmm. it's really really sad and yeah. so kama hizo values zote ume mention leaders wa sahi wanaweza ziva tu for one week Manzi. eh man we will Ata go along kumoja tu basi mm-hmm. kama one yeah. week mingi ba. <laughs> but umesikia pia yeye anavaa viatu za watu yeah. she puts herself in people's shoes sasa yes, imagine yes. viatu kama za Goliath na anavaa socks gunia utaendaje <laughs> <laughs> jamani man yeah. mtu anavaa gunia yeah. how will you fit in those shoes jack <laughs> it, it takes heart it takes heart no na chaki mbaya leo hiyo the year tena kisha <laughs> <laughs> choka <laughs> na pena vile na bado ukiendelea hivi doki tutajipata pa it is it is it is good to accept yourself yes. I mean, viatu zingine si zito share sisi yeah. hatuna budi hatuna budi uh, jacky yeah. we would really love to like extend this conversation in mpaka 1 hour mm-hmm. but this is all the time we had so to purchase yeah. social media handles up yeah mali watu wanaanza kupata <coughs> in okay. case maybe mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> that's Uh, niko social sasa okay. hapo kwa handles mm. and i have to like go back and think through okay. mimi ni mzee kidogo so okay. I, like i wouldn't have those on my but if you search jacqueline chapkoet jacqueline is j a c q u e l i n e right chapkoet is j e p k o e c h kipla gat ni raisi hiyo ni raisi wa kenya gat ni raisi wanze na hiyo kama wanze na hiyo and then jacqueline you able to to get i think Uh, on Instagram it's chapkech underscore kiplagat mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Facebook it's Jacqueline um chapkech kiplagat LinkedIn is Jacqueline kiplagat mm. um Twitter should be chapkech underscore kiplagat mm. um I'm not on TikTok okay yeah I tried ah. it and nilijaribu siku moja and I installed it the I uninstalled it the same day only toka mbio yeah. no niliona like I took like serious I, no, 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 <laughs> serious yeah. I felt like cuz nilikuwa kwa screen for like 15 minutes okay. you know how that algorithm works mm. it was very engaging and i was mm. like eh hey, maintain hapa ni kama vitu zingine hazitasonga but i'll think about it was it like nilikuwa uh, nakupeleka mbio it eh, may eh, have been eh, too eh, fast for me no for foka but i wish it would be of installing yeah. it again and, okay. and see how how that pans out oh, okay kabla tutoke by the way speaking of social media uli post boyfriend's day ilipita uliacha ipite kama mtu wa tropical ama wewe pia ulipost mtu wa na ukonozi aya naona kuna ni mapo yangu babazi babazi umetoka tu kusema watu walipostiwa wakiweka wakificha you know like no hawako yeah. postiwa yeah. hata mkono oh hawako no. postiwa mkono hata postiwa na DCI uto hiyo kucha ni ya nani eh. Eh. so pengine watu waingalie pale kwa, kwa kwa social media if i did anything mm. oh, okay. so, so that's a good assignment yeah, yeah that's yeah. a very good assignment yeah, good assignment unaona vinye yeah. viongozi wanafanyanga <laughs> Haya <laughs> uh, yeah. wisdom wisdom yeah. but maybe just 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 as i conclude yeah. um mm-hmm. i think the fact that mm-hmm. people went to very good schools mm-hmm. should not scare the rest of the people and i think it's very important yeah. to to really mention that true, mm-hmm. true, true. because we we don't want a situation where to not feel the imposter syndrome yeah. mm-hmm. let me tell you i went to alliance girls high school mm-hmm. but i didn't come out with an a I didn't come out with an A minus. Mm-hmm. I didn't come out with a B plus. I had a B. Okay. Okay. Ah, naisema ni kama ni grade ndogo but sawa. Shida za jacket na the shida za jacket. Hizo ndio shida zake. Let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you those are and there's always a lot of pressure yeah, that yeah, comes yeah. when you go to this school. Yes. Because mm-hmm. for me it it was really um I was a failure. Uko sasa. Unajua ni wewe shule yetu wewe ungekuwa hang na tushia. But my point is yeah. let us not allow yeah. um the imposter syndrome to get into us, mm. right? Yeah. You have to be able to <clears throat> understand what you want to do and watch that line and that direction mm-hmm. for yourself. Mm-hmm. Get mentors around you. Get a very good support system that is able to to support you through your journey mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so you you see what is here mm-hmm. this is certainly yeah. special in our yes. own ways. absolutely yeah, in absolutely. our own unique ways yes. Aya wadau tumeshakafunga mimi naitwa baba zora baba jenzi situonane hapo kwa your screen next kabisa 
and i must say one thing i have learned today is the center to center tonza na hiyo tiktok wewe tu baki na youtube yetu tutashukuru it's been lovely i've been your host darkest we are